This episode is also brought to you by Blue Chew. Yes. What could be more fun, better, more efficient than having sex on a Blue Chew if you need it? I mean, only if you need this thing, but a lot of people have trouble. We both got anxiety, stress, we're busy, lack of sleep, so... Get yourself a Blue Chew. You get a lot more confidence in the bedroom, which everybody could use. Even the the best in the biz can use some more confidence in the bedroom. Blue Chew's tablets offer the same active ingredient as Viagra and Cialis, but in a chewable form. If you don't like swallowing pills, (laughs) this is for you. Works fast. Take a day or night. Save a ton of money compared to the name brands. Blue Chew is an online prescription service. That means no doctor's office are waiting in line. Mark, tell them how to get a nice discount. No, baby. Special offer just for the gays. Visit BlueChew.com and get your first shipment free when you use your special promo code TUESDAYS. Just five dollars for shipping. What a steal! Again, that's b l u e chew dot com promo code Tuesdays to try it free. Get on it, folks, and let them keep you hard. Hey, Mark, fake banter for the intro. That's all I know how to do. Great, good to be here. Welcome to Tuesdays with stories. Hit her in the face with a surfboard, and then the duck fell out of his bag. <laughs> Surfs up. And she didn't even flush. Knock, knock. Who's there? Mark Norman and Joe List. Yeah! This is Tuesdays with Stories, everybody. No, that's terrible. This is supposed to be cheesy. My radio is spitting at me. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Tuesdays with Stories. I am Joseph Albert List. Hey. That is Mark Big Pants. Kevin Hart Norman. Yes. Sorry. That's all right. I, I didn't know. want I was to try to come up with something. I wanted to correct you. I'd, I'd say I'm a decent medium with a big vein in the middle. Oh, the vein's nice, I think. I think they like the vein. Vein looks like something's happening. Yeah. It's live. Yes. And also, that vein is its either blood or jizz. It's pumping. You can see, like, oh, this is getting the stuff I need to the dick. Well, I know we talked about this before, and I'll just say it again, but I, it heartens me, no pun intended, because I heard boners. It's the canary in the coal mine. If you can't get a heart on, you got a bad heart. Is that right? Yeah, if you got a real limp uh, noodle, yeah. it's because the heart can't pump the blood. And I feel so good because I'm 39 years old. I eat a lot of French fries, but I wake up every day with a rock hard really? loomster. Yeah, every oh, day. huge boner. Wow. It's wild. If I'm on a bus, I get a boner. If yep. I'm talking to a woman with glasses, I get a boner. Uh-huh. A guy with sunglasses, I get sure. a boner. I mean, I'm Playground. boner city, the mayor. Yeah, wow. See, I'm a... I'm a Every now and then in the morning, but bus, uh, plane ride, guarantee, hundred mm. percent. It's 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 nine eleven on that plane, and those that tower is not going down. But uh, yeah, any any vehicle, I'm gone. Yeah, it's school it's, bus is over. Also, similar to we talked about a couple weeks ago, farts. You're gassier if you wake up early. If you fuck up the sleep schedule, if I wake up like five a.m., I got a third leg the first two hours of the day. Really? Yeah, I don't know what it is because I think from like. 3 a.m. When I'm in REM, I'm hard as a rock. Interesting. cock a doodle do, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I think I'm just dreaming of uh, reverse bukkakis and regular sure. bukkakis. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Woo! That is a good time. I, the, the sexual dreams are really exciting because you, it, you basically got to experience it without any of the work. I'm always afraid. You're always afraid you're going to mumble in your sleep and be like, ah, oh, Shelly, sit on my tits. Oh, you know? sure, sure. I've heard you say things in the car. <laughs> I mean, I'm just afraid my wife is going to hear me screaming my uh, aunt's name while yeah. I'm sleeping. Well, <laughs> Aunt Viv is a is is a real whore. But I uh, I had to sleep with a fat guy recently in a hotel room. We had to share a hotel. Jesus, enough with out the horn, there, you chooch. Oh, sixth is gridlocked. Oh, shit, uh, I just gave away your area. Oh God, Sixth Street, Sixth Street, and Third Avenue. Yep, but East uh, Village. What a fat man! Wait, hold on. I had to take. Beep, I had to beep, sleep beep. with a fat guy. We shared a hotel room in uh, Tejas last weekend. Chris Allen? No, Andrew Youngblood, the guy who saved me from the uh, the oh, Green Hulk. AYB. Yeah, yeah, Jew. So he uh, he went out drinking and got home later than me. So I was getting some good shut eye, and he came in like a bear and a china dick, just knocking the TV over with his fat ass, and then he would like turn the other way, and the lamp would fall, and then he finally collapsed on the bed, and I'm talking. 
Oh. I mean, sawn logs, wood chipper, dogs are barking. It's these heavy boys with their breathing. It's bad news bears. I mean, I, I think I said this to you before. I had a comedian friend. I'll tell you off air. Ooh. But he swore me to secrecy because he's like afraid it's going to cost him work. He's like, don't tell anyone about my snoring. Oh, no one will yeah. ever want to work with me. Ralphie Meg. And I was like, you don't want the kind of gigs where you're sharing a hotel room, even though we were sharing a hotel Good point. room. I have many times. But he's like, I, it's bad news. And I've had, I've had a, a few run-ins with comics that are just, it's wild. I mean, I can't wild. even describe the scene. It's like a steel mill. Yes, yes. And then you, you, you hear him, and he sounds like he's dying. He's like, <laughs> yeah. all that shit, like a car that won't start in the 30s. And uh, I'm hitting it with oil, ear, ear. And he's just aooguing all day long, and you get angry. You're sitting there, you're like, I'm trying to sleep. But then you realize, I snore. Oh, you snore? I snore like the Dickens, fatty. No kidding. Yeah, so uh, poor bitch tits over here has to has to put up with that, and she's recorded me a few times, and you listen to it, you're like, whoa. That's so interesting, because I've seen you sleep a couple of times. Every time we go to a movie, you, you, you nod off. Yeah, I got a problem. But, I mean. Markalipsy. Uh, hey, that's good. That's my album. It'll put you to bed. That could be that could be a nice video. You know, you're on oh, the, yeah. the bus or whatever or something. <laughs> Get a boner. Whatever. Uh, but I've seen you sleep. That's canary in the coal mine to me too. If you if you're breathing all, because I figure you're you're fit as an asshole. So on Christmas, so I just assume you don't snore because I don't snore too much unless, unless my, it was my drinking days or if I yes. fall asleep on my back. Yes. I'll get the... Yes, that's me. But I do still booze it up pretty hard every now and then. So she sees the worst of it when it's, uh, you know, New Year's Eve and I've had 17 uh, cocktails and a Viagra. But, yeah, it it, it gets pretty ugly. But uh, I tried everything with this guy. He's a big boy. And I could. it was like trying to flip a Honda. I couldn't... Because if you get him on the side, they usually cool off a little. <laughs> and I couldn't roll him. It was like a, a beached whale there. I needed the I needed that big strap they in the crane and then keep it wet. You know, they keep it wet. I don't know the wet. What do you mean? Like a they whale? Always, they, oh, a whale. You gotta keep a whale wet. They always I keep see. that thing watery, like a dog's nose. When you said crane, I thought we had moved on to like a... Ah. Uh, <laughs> that's what I meant. Yeah, with the whale. They, right. they crane it. But I like think crane, willy. I think construction, so I forgot about the whale. I you see. You see, I transitioned. I see. Well... I don't want a dead name you there, Justine. Uh, he, him. Josephine. He, him. You, your. They, there. Ah. They're that's, there. That's fun. Here, here. Yeah. <laughs> um, but anyways, I'm not a big snore, but maybe those Breathe Right nose strips. Remember ah, those were a thing for a minute? Tried it all. That was one of my first bits was uh, they had the Breathe Right nose strip. It helps you uh, breathe better. Yeah. If you're constipated, can you put one on your asshole? Ah. Oh, that was, that was like, like a big one of mine. I like, like it. Folks. Huh? Open it up. Dilate that puppy, that balloon knot. See what I'm doing here, folks? And then they'd be like, ah, it was just enough. The people were like, he's going to be good. Yeah. I was yeah. 18 and I, you know, I had a mustache and a top hat. <laughs> and then I had that piece of material and they're like, hey, this guy's got something. I like it. I like it. I had an old bit about the uh, everybody at the DMV is ugly, and it was one of my big bits. And this kid came up because that has been done to death, and I I wanted to murder him in his sleep because I didn't I didn't know about hack, right? And you think you come up with everything, and he's like, "That's been done." And he just ruined my whole world, and I was like, "Oh, I didn't know we could do that." Yeah, that's tough. If you come in fresh, I mean, I've seen, but but you know what's interesting, and I think we've talked about this before too. Now there's a whole young generation. They never watched any 80s comedy. You got that right. So they're like, I'm trying to buy condoms. I'm putting them under a bag of Skittles right. so they won't see the condom. And I'm like, oh, I think we, we covered that pretty good. Yeah, and then that's the problem with these these uh, new queefs is they, they think they're hot potatoes, and they come in, and they call everybody a hack, and I'm an artist, and you guys suck. But then they're doing the old shit. They don't even know it. Yeah, exactly. They don't even know it. New queefs on the block. New queefs yeah. on the cock. Yeah. Uh-huh. Where, where do you keep the, the mic from? I mean, this looks like you rolled it. In a bag of hay. Well, I think the uh, the old puss in boots there sits on it like it's an egg and it's warming it. By the way, the cat back for the first time in weeks. Cat back. Good to have you there, Fatty. Uh, he's been he's been bashful. But yeah. Now he's happy to see you, and uh, you know I think he might be dead. You think he's happy? He had a Xanax. I think this might be one of the happiest cats on the planet. Really? Because I'm not from the footage I've seen. Look at that. This is just spa day. He's just hanging. He's like a like a pill head. 
I mean, I guess. But if, if you saw me, I mean, I, I don't want you to read me wrong. If you see me laying on a table like this without much movement, I'm not having a good time. I'm sad. Well, that's what's odd about this uh, cum guzzler is he loves a hard, flat, cold surface. This is basically like an operating table over here or a butcher block. You give him a bed with some fluff, he's out. He wants that hard. Interesting. Well, I like it hard. Now, you said cum guzzler. Have you thought at all, maybe the <laughs> wife's away, the mice will play, have yeah. you thought about putting a little cum in his dish to see what happens? <laughs> or maybe a direct hit into the into that you know soaky tongue? I wouldn't mind shooting it right into his eye uh, to see how he handled it. But uh, they got that hard tongue. I already tried that. That didn't go well. That tongue is like sandpaper right i thought about it when i had the mouse in uh entrapment or whatever i thought about coming in the hole to see if he'd enjoy it because i bet he'd like a little semen i I do that feels like a comic book origin story like how did the mouse man go well a a lanky tall guy with a type 2 mouth shot a huge load into a tube with a mouse in it he shook it up and then (laughs) here comes a mouse boy yeah mighty come yeah (laughs) here i come to save the uh, but yeah, <clears throat> good times. Yeah, yeah. So you got rid of the mouse. We got rid of the cum. The cat's back. <laughs> and uh, I got to tell you about last night. What a what a whopper of a night. This was lunch. Well, I saw. I mean, we should go through the whole night yes. because a lot, lot happened. A lot of, lot of business. A lot of ups and downs. Multiple hangs. Great hangs. Yes. Friendships were earned. Lives were lost. Virginities were shattered. Uh, yeah. Hymens were broken. Vagina, vaginal excretions and uh jews were gassed i'm in roth so big <laughs> night i mean i went to uh um i love that noise anyways fun fact uh when uh michael and hyman roth are talking the football game is notre dame usc classic rivals a uh-huh. little, uh, little fun oh i thought you were gonna do a Easter sandusky egg. thing there no, no. That's Penn State. Sorry. Yeah, Penn State. And uh, he was a, a, a little whippersnapper back then. But uh-huh. anyways, so I went to, I was at, I have a spot at 8.15 at the stand. I'm eating Chipotle beforehand. And I actually thought to myself, I, I should call Mark, see what he's up to. And then I see Mark Norman wild? calling. How I about mean, that? It's like a synergy. Yes, we're synced up periods. And you know what's weird? When you call, it says stand up New York underneath. What? I don't know why, because I think maybe on Facebook you uh, worked there at some point, and maybe. so it registered, because it's all pipes. Yeah, Facebook's yeah. Facebook's connected to the phone, and the phone's connected to your, you know... Heart string. The whole thing. Yeah, the blue wire. Instagram is Facebook. Don't you hate that when you're like, I don't look at Facebook. I hate Facebook. I like Instagram. I'm like, it's the same thing. And I'm like, well, whatever. It's different. It's different. Shut up. Pork and beef. It's all chicken. It's all white meat. All right. Well, one's a pig. One's a chicken. Blue yeah, meat. I get it. I get out of here. So anyways, you call. I say, hey, what are you doing? You say, I got an 815 at the stand. I say, I'm an 815 at the stand. You're downstairs. I'm upstairs. Yeah, what's black, it's white. What's gay, it's right. All right. (laughs) Um, Pride month, baby. Sorry. Uh, I was off kilter. The beaten path. Uh Uh-huh. So we go over there. We arrive at the same time. And it's different gigs, by the way. I go down there and see Ari. Ari's show, which you're on, which yeah. I did last week. It's packed, packed and it's hot and fun. I'm upstairs and there's some podcast that's huge now mm. called Girls Gotta Eat. Huge pod. Massive pod. Big lady slutty pod. Well, evidently one of them was on the show. So my crowd was all women. It was three men and like 48 young women. Wow. And I'm on stage, and I couldn't help thinking about a reverse bukkake the whole time. Well, three men, that's a hell of a orgy odds you got there. I mean, unbelievable. Just young ladies all looking up, and I'm standing there. I wanted them all to just flick their beavers and piss right in my mouth for like sure. an hour. Yeah, well, no wonder you're waking up with boners, because uh, you got a dirty little mind in that in that big old noggin of yours. Well, I just want to be outnumbered by women. You know, ah. like they're, they're just, you know... Clipping my toenails, ripping out my pubes, spitting in my mouth, right. and taking a shit on my forehead. Just a lot of... I just want to be abused by a group of women. Interesting. I wonder if we could set this up with some kind of birthday party package <laughs> deal, like in Vegas or something. There's got to be a, a bitch boy package, a, a, a BBP. <laughs> 
And this guy is some way we, we can set this up. We we dress them up like uh, umpires, and they come in and <laughs> kick dirt on your feet and tell you you're you're out. I would, I'd love that. I come out of the dugout. I'm sitting yeah. there giving signs. Right, right. And then I come running out. I kick dirt on them, and then they just come from behind and put me in like a, a half Nelson they or a Willie Nelson. Put a Louisville slugger up the pooper and uh, call you a homo and and call it a life. Yeah, I really just want to be just hot loogies, hot on me like a, a foot in my mouth and a shoe in my ass just wow. you know what i mean just really called a fag and like yes you know lipstick on my nipples something I, something fun for the i kids. would i, I want to watch this the way you watch a surgery i want to be up there <laughs> with the with the with the hair net on and have the big light and see the whole thing yeah and i, I make eye contact yeah. and i'm like we did it buddy. yeah and i got the weird video camera that's that's from the 90s for some reason i'm looking down yeah something fun like that i need a safe word uh, i don't know what it would be it would be tricky chocolate yeah. chips yeah yeah it might be a little long gotta go quick you can get it out you know hey uh right right queef but it's Ain't such a it. wild dirty situation it would have to be something very specific because right. if it's you know, ejection's no good, cum is no good, no. that hurts, I like it, whatever. Right. Stop, stop, that's no good. Maybe retard. Uh, that's not bad, but they something. can call you that because it's right. a punishment. Yeah, huh. quirky. Yeah, that's tough. That's yeah. tough. Well, man. we'll figure that out All later. Right. That's, I mean, the devil's in the details. But anyways, I, I'd like to have it happen. Yes, yes, we can make this happen. We will run it by the the wife of yours, and I'm sure she'll be on board. She doesn't care about much. Yeah, it's tough to say. She may not like, but if I'm not inserting, and it's just yeah. just spit and shit and puke and boogers, I think. <laughs> yeah, I picture you in a diaper. The dick will never come out. Yeah, something like that. Well, I want him to uh, call it small. Uh, and, you know what right. I mean? Flick it, maybe. Sure, sure. Okay. Well, maybe we'll get you a clear diaper uh, so they can see right into that tiny little disgusting pack. Package and uh, yeah, we'll we'll film the whole thing. We'll put it on the Patreon and have Chuck edit it, some graphics in there. Yeah, we'll figure it out another day. But anyways, so the women are there. I perform. It's fine. It's whatever. Yeah. Then I'm like, let me shoot downstairs. I had a short set because some bullshit. I'm like, uh-huh. let me shoot downstairs. Catch the end of yours. I talk to Ari. You come off. You go running up the stairs. I go, hey, Marcus. Yeah, I thought I was going to beat you up there. Uh-huh. Well, I was already down, and then uh, well, you take over. Tell him what happened. Yeah, so we meet up, and it was fun because this was a real packed-out day for it because we already had a good 15 minute or on the horn. That's right. And then we meet up, and now we got a whole... That's a good 22-minute walk. To good the, walk. From the stand in the east side to the cellar on the west side. You cut through the park. You go down Fifth Avenue. It's a great time. And it was magic hour. Woo! Pink clouds, purple streaks, and that's just my underwear. Yeah, it's the miscarriage and the shit talking. So what? what is going on outside? I'm not complaining, but it's 64 degrees. It's July, It's or it's almost July, but it's summer. You'd think it'd be blazing saddles out here. Well, it was hot earlier in the day, ah. a couple of days ago. I think it was hot. I don't know, but the rain came in. I think the rain cools things off. Is that ah, something? Maybe. I just it just it feels like a gift from uh, Satan himself because it's so nice out here. I remember last year in June, I was it was like a Spike Lee movie. You know, you're like son of Sam. I want to be a serial killer. Crime is up. The heat is up. The heat is on. It's overrated. People <laughs> pretend to like it. I know what you mean. Yeah, uh, but but here we're lucky up here in the Northeast because everywhere else in the country was like 120. It was like 120 oh. degrees in Arizona, New Mexico, oh, one of those nightmare. bullshit states. Nightmare. So we're we're lucky here. I mean, the Northeast is where it's at. You get multiple seasons, plenty of rain. No hurricanes, really, occasionally. occasionally. No tornadoes, no earthquakes. Yeah, yeah. Just you know. Jews and uh, Puerto Ricans. But if you can stand that, you're, you're home free. So uh, we, uh, we walk to the cellar, and then you get to the cellar, and the cellar has got this weird thing going on where it's so nice outside that no one's in the restaurant but comedians. Right. And then the, but the shows are full. Shows are full. No one's eating there. Well, I had a weird one because we walked all the way down. You had a spot at Fat Black. I was like, I'm going to go to the cellar and get dinner. I, I, I got to get in a group. Yes. I need a little group hang. I need a group. Because nothing pulls you out of a funk. I had a little funk situation. Oh, did you? Nothing pulls you out of a funk like a good group round table hang. Right. The Funkadelic. So I go, you have fun at the Fat Black. I'm going to go to the cellar. I walk into the cellar. I sit down at the table. I'm like... <laughs> I look at the monitor, there's no show. I'm in between shows. Uh, the shows are 7.30, 9.30, and for the people at home that don't know, the cellar doesn't become a hang until like 
10. Yeah, I'd say that's about it. Because early on, everyone fled the scene. I was literally the single only comedian Just in the there, entire building. Twiddling your, your pubes. And then the waitstaff is like, where you go? You're not, we're, we're not good enough for you? And I'm like, that's right. <laughs> I'm like, I want some comics. So yeah. I jog over the VU, the Village Underground, ah. hoping to see Quinn. He already left. Ah. But... Chris Rock is going on. Ooh, he's talented. He's very good. He's uh, he's uh, one of my faves as a youth. And then you text my fat ass and you go, hey, Dick Cheese, uh, old Rocky boy's popping up. <laughs> and I, 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 well, actually, you said he's doing one of your bits. And I said, oh, shit. Now I got to go see this twat do my, uh, my half my act. And uh, I go down there and. Apparently the bit's already on wax, so hey, suck it there, Pebble. <laughs> yeah, no sweat. But I gotta say this part because this was a fun nugget, and I got a little uh, insight. No, that's not it. But, case, ah, uh-huh. a case of the goosebumps, which Ooh. some people call goose pimples, and those people should be shot in the face. Kill yourself. Get out of here with goose pimple, Jesus. you fucking losers. Hold on, I got a cat pube that'll shake a man's. Soul. I think you might have to start hanging these from the rafters or something. Wow, well, he'll just do the whole... He likes a hang. I mean, look at this. It looks like Larry David's head in the 70s. It's just white hair is sticking everywhere. <laughs> I know, it's like Bernie Sanders here. But uh, yeah, he, he'll, he'll put a, a fucking hair on anything. He's like a Maury from uh, Goodfellas. Well, universal health care. Uh, <laughs> so... I'm downstairs, and then uh, Eagle Wit goes on. He's up there with Saifa and, and Will Savince. They're, they're hosting together. Ah. And for the folks that don't know Saifa, he's a DJ. E- 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 ones and, and twos. Yes, and, and Will is uh, Haitian. So they're yes. up hosting. Eagle Wit, they talk. Eagle comes off. So Chris Rock is next, and he's sitting over here. And I watch Liz, the manager, give him a mic and say, hey, you're next. And then this was really fun. So Saifa goes, I'm going to give everybody a hint on who's coming up next. Aha. Uh-huh. And he goes over to the the DJ business. The, the record area. And he plays that song. Uh, oh, what's that song? It was like a 90s song. I want to rock. No, no, uh, it wasn't that. I was it thinking was like rock. a hip hop song. But it was. Uh, rock. Oh, yeah. It's I want to rock right now. Oh, It close. was that song. Okay. And so he plays. I want to rock. I want to rock. And the crowd's just kind of sitting there being like, I don't know what's going on here. Someone from Iraq? Yeah. So he goes, I want to rock right now. I want to rock. I want to rock right now. And so then Chris starts walking back there. And so everyone in the back sees Chris Rock and they start going, whoa. whoa." So it starts to build a little back here. titillating. And now he's playing it enough times in a row. I want to rock. I want to rock. I want to rock, rock, they're, rock. They're I want to rock. And then the people start clapping. So people start looking. Ooh. And all of a sudden, it starts to build. Yeah. And they were going to introduce him. But Chris just kept walking, walked straight on. So then the music's going, I want to rock. I want ah. ah. And everyone goes nuts. And all of a sudden, he's just on the stage. Come it was the coolest on. thing I've ever seen in my wow. life. I was like elbowing everyone. I'm like, are you guys seeing this? This is crazy. Wow. And then I was like, oh, this must be a thing they do. Cypher. Go back to DJing. They came <laughs> off. And they were like, oh, that was pretty cool. Cool, huh? And you could tell Chris was like into it, but he, he underplayed yeah, it. Yeah, he's underplayed. He, he walked up with his reading glasses. On. I mean, he's seventy-eight years old sure, now. Sure, sure. And Don't he's crack. got you know, he's got his notebook and stuff. And he walked out, and the place exploded. So cool. I and, love uh, it. It was just very exciting. And then you came down, and, and let me guess, he said, uh, "Please lower your expectations." He did because they go crazy. They and, go crazy, and he wants to work out. He's got his uh, notes and his ideas, and you know him. He doesn't like to bring the heat or the pain. I should say. On stage, because he wants to see if the words will take. Yes, it's a, a really interesting way that he does it. And for the people that aren't lucky enough to see him at the cellar, which is most people, sure, you'd be, you'd be blown away if you watched him. Because he sits there, like I said, with reading glasses, and he's like, isn't it weird that your cousin is uh, related but isn't really related? Right. All right. Uh, what about the? He's just standing. Yeah. There's no leather pants. There's no pacing. There's no voice. He's right. not doing this. <laughs> right. No teeth. No. Oh. He's one of the few guys that works out the jokes one way and then completely changes the way he delivers. It's fascinating. It is fascinating. I, I could never do that because to me, the delivery is, is part of the package. So if you're doing right. something without the delivery, I feel like if you add the delivery later, it's going to change it. Different package. Different package, which is uh, bad in the dark. Yeah, you don't want your wife to have one of those. No, no, no. Caitlyn Jenner. But uh, so 
fascinating, and I think he's, you know, he's not exactly murdering up there, but, man, he's got, you can see the nuggets. Like, oh, there's mm-hmm. some brilliance in that. That's a great idea. That's an angle. Holy shit, how do we all miss that? But it's not exactly murdering, but you get to see the the, uh, the inner workings almost. Yes, and the audience is compelled. Yes. Plus, they got the Chris Rock story. You got that right. And then this is where I fucked it all up oh boy uh, i still feel so stupid about it because michael che is there sure our, who's our buddy yeah oh, yeah good egg fatty. he's hanging out there he had a mask on i thought that was strange i made fun of him a little bit for the mask what's going on with the he mask he totally forgot it he's like oh i forgot i was wearing it I'm like oh well it's covering your face because then he took it off later but I guess, uh, whatever, I guess maybe, he forget it's on. Maybe he's worried about being seen without it in public, showbiz stuff. Or maybe he likes not being recognized, because uh, I didn't recognize him. Because he had a hat and a mask on, so he, I just thought he was some asshole. Yeah, I thought he was just some guy in blackface. But, so anyways, he's there, but I got bad info. I thought he had already gone on, so Rock finished. And I was like, I'm going to run out of here for the audience, because sometimes the audience gets out and it's hard to get out. Sure. So I ran out. Ran over to the cellar. You came along. It was a bit of a stinker hang for a few minutes there. Yeah, we, we really uh, pumped some life into that dick. We, we, we were the vein. We tried, but uh, I, really, I would have liked to have seen what Che was up to. Uh-huh, Stand-up-wise. Well, oh, yeah. He's got a hot uh, special in the works, and he was uh, working on his stuff, and it's quite, quite fun. I'm so bad. Bummed I missed it because I hate watching specials. I need to watch live comedy. Yeah, he's ripping and rocking out there. Ah. So you'll see it. He's, he's going to be there every goddamn night for the next 45 years. But uh, now this is where the night takes a turn. So this was this is like just there's so many layers to this onion ring. So uh, we go. We're hanging out. It's Che. It's Ian Lara. It's Aaron Jackson. It's Jessica Kirsten. We're hanging out. It's a fun time. We're getting some good yucks. Great laughs. Liz pops her Italian face in and goes, hey, hey, it's Joe Mackey's birthday. There's cake outside. So I would just turn into a poof. Just poof. And uh, I run outside this gate. There's this, uh, whipped cream. It's Phil Hanley. It's Mackey. It's you, me, the, the other guy. And uh, we're all having fun and do- joking. Then Che's like, hey, uh, Chappelle. Oh, then Chappelle walks up. Chappelle walks by, which is so fun because the audience is standing outside waiting for the show. Yeah. Because the one show, the second show is still going on. The audience for the third show, which is the show I'm on, yeah. they're lined up over here, and they're just watching Michael Che walk up, Chappelle's walking up, we walk up. They're yeah. not so excited about that. I saw yeah. one guy did a thing. He was I like, saw that. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was neat. yeah, he was a, he was a gay. Mm-hmm. He was gay. Yeah, and then uh, so then Ch- uh, Che gets off. He does the whole Chappelle thing. The black guys with the handshake. It's so impressive. It's just that pap. Perfect. There's yeah. no flub or flip. We're always, oh, what are you doing? The pound, the How anal, the fist, the, the clit, whatever it is. And they got it just nailed it because there's 18 bodyguards. You know how these uh, Chappelle types work. And uh, so. A posse. Thank you. Entourage. That's it. Fuck. Yeah, yeah posse works if no. you're in a Western and you're killing the townspeople. Posse stinks. Hold All on. right. A possum. Eat so. A posse. Uh, we go to, me and Che pop over to the, the VU, the Village Underground, which is around the corner. That's where I lose you. Yes, because I had a spot at the cellar. Aha. Uh-huh. Good to see you're still doing it. I try. And uh, we go in. Chappelle goes, well, first of all, we go in. Shane Gillis is on stage. Killing! Yeah, he's Killing! The best. So funny. He's, he's got this whole Trump chunk, and he's like, I'm aware of Trump. I'm, I'm, I just found out I can do this. I'm late to Trump. Like, he had a whole, I'm not going to ruin his bit, but he had this whole bit about Trump getting shot, and it's fucking great. He's really amazing. Amazing comedian. He's one of those guys that upsets you. Yes. You're like, oh, fuck this guy with he's his talent. Funny and tall and fat. And uh, so. Uh, Chappelle, I'm watching him light the cigarette. Like, is that Shane Gillis? And the manager's like, yeah, it's Shane. He's like, hey, he's funny. So I get to watch Chappelle say he's funny. And then Shane doesn't know he's there. So I'm, I'm just enjoying the fact that he's killing. Uh-huh. And then this huge, one of the biggest comics on the planet is going, he's good. He's funny. Wow. Insane. And he doesn't know it. I get to, I get to live through it. It's fun. Yeah, you know Chappelle loves Shane before Shane exactly. knows. Exactly. And he's just having fun on stage killing. Thank God. This is why you got to kill, folks. A lot of these people phone it in until they, until they get the, the Netflix, and then they try to bring the heat. Yes. Bring the heat all the time. You never know who's watching. That's right. 
Hey folks, Steve's Tuesdays with Stories is brought to you by Sunday, which is now featuring Pest Control. The same guys who made it easy to get a healthy green lawn are now helping you take care of bugs. You know what it's like. We've all been there. I mean, I'm in the Northeast. I think the South is even worse, but you're having a nice cookout. You're having a good time, but the bugs, like life, there's always something. And bu- I hate bugs. I am a, a, a bug Hater, I made a great sketch called uh, Guy Who Kills Mosquitoes Too Hard years ago. Shouldn't put that in here, but whatever. There's tons <laughs> of bugs, mosquitoes, fleas, ticks, all of them. You don't have to worry about them now because Sunday makes fighting pests easier than ever and with better ingredients. They use location data to create a custom pest control plan just for you. I told you I sent some of this to my dad. He loves it. This is a fine product. I recommend this to all the dads. You probably missed Father's Day, so get some of this now. They send exactly what you need with step by step instructions. Sunday is made with better for the planet ingredients like cedar oil, I can't say that word, and canola, canola oil, no pesticides. Before you pick up the phone and call some service that'll charge you hundreds, try Sunday and get the same effectiveness at half the cost. Special offer from Mark. Yes, you got that right. Let Sunday take the guesswork out of controlling pests in your home and yard this summer. Visit GetSunday.com slash Tuesdays to get 10 dollars off your smart pest plan that again is ten dollars off your custom plan at get sunday.com slash tuesdays thank you and fix that lawn you chooch yeah get a nice lawn tuesdays with stories is also brought to you by blue blocks glasses which you can wear in your pest free backyard it's quite a lineup they got the uh, they got first up in the lineup is sleep plus get yourself some red lenses for true blue and green light blocking Use after sundown. If you have trouble sleeping or get anxious at night, these are for you. Then you go get your clear blue light lens filter. That's what you use during the day. Cut down on headaches and eye strain. If you spend all day in front of a computer, so many people do, you're under artificial light. Use these glasses. Up next, you got the Summer Glow Yellow Lenses. This is color therapy for the winter blues, clinically proven to fit to lift your mood. Plus, you get all the benefits of blue light blocking. I mean, I got some Wayfair computer glasses. I wear them. I share them with my wife. She puts them on. They make her look sexy and sweet. Mark's got the uh, Clark Summer Glow glasses. Don't you love those Summer Glows? Love them. Great tint. Great style. Good frames. Big fan. And if you've got a prescription, that's no problem. They will they will make it right to your specifications. These are high-quality lenses, not mass-produced. They come in a lot of styles, from glasses to sleep masks. they got everything you need for light therapy. The service is great. You can get them today. Mark, shove it up there. Oh, baby. Get 20% off with code Tuesdays at blueblocks.com slash Tuesdays. That's B-L-U-B-L-O-X dot com slash Tuesdays for 20% off. Blueblocks.com slash Tuesdays and use code Tuesdays for 20% off. Pretty good. Can't beat it. Not bad. And finally, Tuesdays with Stories is brought to you by Gabby oh, Insurance. Yes, sir. There are hundreds of companies who claim to compare home and auto insurance rates, but only one who actually does it. You got yourself a nice car. Oh, yeah. 1973 Beamer, a classic. <laughs> but only one has the best insurance. It's Get Better Insurance with Gabby. Gabby is the one true comparison platform with fast, verifiable quotes, not ballpark guesses yuck Mm. you can use your current policy to find a better one compare your coverage with 40 of the top insurance providers like progressive nationwide and travelers and this stuff is easy to use it's so frustrating shopping for an auto insurance policy i thought i was a pain right in my pie hole Mm -hmm. couldn't believe how annoying it was but now it is made easy here's something a, a customer said gabby helped me find the right policy and i saved a ton on insurance Gabby customers save 961 bucks wow. per year on average. 961 you can take a trip for that. You got that right. And they'll never sell your info, so no annoying spam or robocalls. Marcus, tell them how to get this fine insurance. I am going to get on it because, yeah, you, you're right. I got the car. I got the bike. I'm going to die one day, and uh, not to mention the drug use. Put your policy to test like I did. Get a better insurance with Gabby. See how Gabby can save you. It's totally free to check, and there's no obligation. Go to Gabby.com slash Tuesdays. That's G-A-B-I dot com slash Tuesdays. One more time. Gabby, G-A-B-I dot com slash Tuesdays. And get insured today. All right.
So Shane gets off. Dave Chappelle, everybody. Ah, you know, he takes 20 minutes to get to the stage for some reason. Yes, so he's hugging cool. Shane. He's doing the, you know, the whole thing with Shane. Uh, headlock, you know. And then Shane was doing so well that Chappelle had to reference it. Ooh. Yeah. And he was like, God bless Shane. Gill. I mean, Shane <laughs> on the back going, ah! Oh, I was like, my get God. that clip. That's on tape. They got a house camera. And uh, so Shane, I watched him drink 11 Bud Lights. I counted. Shane? Yeah. Oh, boy. And he just sat there, planted, watching Chappelle. We're laughing. Chappelle's got new stuff, like uh, very offensive. You, you can guess what group he's shitting on. And it's a lot of fun. And uh, then Shay and me are hanging out. Then Colin Jost walks in. Josty. Jost, he's hammered. So now I got the whole SNL weekend update to my right. And I got Fat Gill on the left. Yes. So I'm, I'm in a real funny orgy here. I'm in a, like a comedy gulag. Doesn't it make you so well? It, it, it makes you happy and sad at the same time. But Gillis could have been sitting between them on weekend oh, update. You're what right. a fuck up. They should have just held the line and said hey whatever the past is prologue whatever the fuck that means right and said we're keeping him on because he's brilliant but it, ultimately it's probably fucking better for him because he can do whatever he wants now but i guess my god they 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 passed on Soder and they fired gillis these numbskulls i know who cares about the asians they'll be fine he made a joke get over it it's a comedy show it's a comedy joke Hire the man. You got a bunch of queefs over there anyway. You could use a little heat. It's like they finally got the, I don't want to say they make all wrong decisions. Sure. There's very talented people over there, obviously. Eh, but, uh, you know, I mean, Gillis is as good as it gets. Yeah. And he's got a lot of promise. If he doesn't drink himself to death, which sure. concerns me. But he should have been on the fucking show. He's goddamn brilliant. Yeah, he's, Jost, he's By great. the way, Jost and Che are great on Weekend Update. Oh, it's the best yeah. part of the show. It always Easily. has been. Easily. Yeah, yeah. Good jokes, good writing, good hair on that. Uh, Colin, Colin Jost is banging Johansson, and they look the same. Oh, They're like the same that. face, same hair, spiky, whitey, you know, like thick. It's insane Americans. to be friendly with or around a person who's what? Are they married? I think they're married. Well, whatever. His partner is like in the worldwide I, conversation I for hottest woman in the world. I know. I was sniffing his fingers, uh, sniffing his dick. I just wanted to get a taste because he's banging uh, <laughs> Johansson. It's a comedian, Jerry. Isn't that so? I think of comedian. I think of uh, Dom Herrera, you know? Like, right. we're not exactly the sexiest gang of of. of Cunts out there. It's insane. I mean, and not to mention Scout Johansson, first class actor. I mean, lost in translation. Forget about it. One of my favorite movies of all time. <laughs> Jesus. The cat just Careful. made a big move for the folks at home. Big I mean, this was aggressive. Move. Yeah, that was a. Uh, oh, oh, boy. God, that's the a, paw that's hit a me. me too, right yeah, there. That's a butt touch. The paw just touched my asshole. And then she reached her right arm past her left ear, which I've never seen before. Oh, this guy's got, got a. Like one of these. <laughs> what do you call it? He's got a hops or stretches or Heil. Heil, thank you. Oh my god. Oh man, this is quite the Burt Reynolds uh shoot here on the bare rug. Very Ooh. weird, but her tail looks like a duster. One of those dust things oh, that doesn't yeah. really clean up dust, it just moves it around yeah, a little bit. Yeah, like a hot French maid and in the game of clue. Oh yeah, I wouldn't mind having one of those when we do my big party. A couple Ooh. French maids, high heels in the asshole. Well, I think you gotta wear that. No, I don't, I don't like the, don't don't make me dress like okay. anything. I want to just in my regular outfit, you know. I hear you. I hear you. Maybe a baseball uniform as we discussed. So, uh we're all hanging out now. Chappelle is ripping and rocking and he's got the cigarette. He's got about 38 whiskeys going. I don't know if I'm supposed to be saying any of this, but the phones are locked up. We are in this cabin of laughter, you know, and the doors are locked. The security we're hanging out. The drinks are flowing. He's smoking. The phones, there's no camera in sight. It's fucking, this is it, baby. We're in a nightclub. Right. We are in a speakeasy of sin, and you can feel it. Yes. And it's all just a bunch of regular common folk down there, and they're getting to witness this. Now they got something for the water cooler. And uh, so then Chappelle, in, a, in his comedic stupor, goes, hey, let's get Michael Che up here. Ah, so now they've seen Rock. Jesus, they will fucking tits oh, ass. Oh, look at that. That was scary. I've never seen this cat this comfortable. Holy I mean, that's going to be a, a gif right there. I just shit my pants. Yeah, yeah, that was bad. I can smell it. I don't know what minute that was in the episode 3213, but you're going to have quite a clip to pull. 
Jif, choosy moms choose Jif, Chuck. You got that? Make it a gif or a jif or a quiff. Oh, my God. That was scary because it made a leather scratch noise. Oh, yeah. Well, this thing's all moves. There's no uh, there's no subtlety with this quiff. <sighs> so uh, Michael Che walks up, and I'm sitting there talking to Jost, and Jost is he's a little lit up, if you know what I mean. He's getting loose. Yeah, because SNL, I believe, is wrapped. Yes, they're on uh, hiatus, vacation, Sabbath, sabbatical. Sabbath, whatever. Galco. Yeah, so they bring him up, and he's like, oh, no. He doesn't want to go up there. He's in, he's, he's in half in the bag over here. Yeah, he's trying to enjoy his night. Yeah, he's probably just got done going down on old Jewface Hanson, mm-hmm. and uh, he's dressed to the nines. You can tell they went to some fancy dinner. He's had 38 bottles of expensive wine. These guys are living. Wow, that's fun. So they go up. Now it's all three of them up there, and they're just zinging and zanging. The crowd is just... Shit and blood. It's so fun. So they've seen Rock, Gillis Killett, the guy who got fired from SNL. Now the weekend update with Chappelle. What a show. What a night. I should have come back over. I did my set. But then the thing is, I had an 815 and 1140. So I'd been farting around for three and a half hours. So after a three and a half hour in the city, you're like, yeah. all right, I got to turn in. I was pushing it myself there. I mean, I, I left at 2.30 and they were still on. Chappelle was on for four hours plus the hour and a half show they saw. What's with the four hours? What is he, Springsteen in 78? Well, I mean, it's enough already with they, the four he's hours. He's doing Q&A and they're eating it up. And here's the queefy. Here's the clinker. They stopped serving booze because it's legal. You got to cut it off, you know, at 11 or whatever it is. Sure. So we're kind of sitting there like, this is unfair. They've been watching Chappelle for two hours now and they've had no drinks. So they must be parched. Right. Can you get a water at that hour? I guess maybe a water. But I think at one point they said, fuck it, open it back up. Oh, nice. And then you got to think, they open it back up, they're going to make 100 grand real quick. I don't know about 100 well, grand. That is seems it? like a lot. 10? But I, I have to say, the other day I was watching a set, and then someone's set, and then they have the the bar, whatever, the boop boop boop, the tell. Yeah. Oh, the uh, the positive till. touch. Yes, the till, whatever till is the old term. Emma, Emma. till. Uh, so there, she's touching the thing, and I was watching it go bloop 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 bloop. Three hundred eighty nine dollars. I don't know how many people were in the party, but they, it was. I could see it was burger, wings, beer, beer, beer. Oh, domestic, that adds up. Foreign thing. And so somebody there, at least one table, is getting a check for three hundred and eighty nine dollars. Wow, that's so, one table. Yeah, there is part of you that's like, I don't know how they pay all these comedians, the staff, the whole thing. And then you see like one table, four hundred bucks. Exactly. But that's that. The just so the folks know at home, the tab, the admission is on the tab. Oh, so is that that's right? all. I didn't that includes that. four tickets. I didn't know that. Yeah, you get a check for all of the things. So, man, that's a high. That's a pricey night. I didn't realize these folks were shelling out that much coin. Well, it might be a table of six, so you have the six ad- admissions, which is six times fifteen, which is uh, thirty, uh, forty-five, s- ninety, seven hundred dollars. Oh, I think boy. ninety. I got this calculator. Ninety, I believe, but. <laughs> So that's uh, that's ninety bucks right there, and then you, you did six meals, whatever the fuck, doesn't matter. But they make a lot of cash, is the point. The cash but cow. Sarah and I have been saying the same thing about the view. It's it's so special, it's so beautiful, and we're really blowing the comedy cellar here. But you should go get tickets, go. make reservations, and uh, the stand also doing great things. But the idea of where we went to see, I, I talked about it a couple of weeks ago. I went down to take a shit. I saw Chris Rock and Colin Quinn, and it's daylight. It's like 6.45 p.m., and we're underground. There's all these people like in high heels that I want I in my know. ass and just suits, and they're just <laughs> going to work. There's homeless people. There's like a CVS here. There's a movie theater. They have no idea that these massive celebrities, brilliant artists, are in a basement Below their saying feet. stuff that would get you shot in the face if you said it on The View. Yes! What a career! What a life! What a what an art form! What a, what a, what a world we live in, where the, um, right below the soles of your tap dance shoes is Colin Quinn talking about transanal. What a wonderful world! Ah, that was bad. What was that? That was Louis oh, Anderson. Oh, what a Louis Anderson. <laughs> By the way, this was me on Xanax the other day. This is the same look. This, oh, is, this is me in a red God, roof in. Don't shake the tail of a sleeping Ooh, asshole. Oh, man. Get under that neck. Get a feel. That's like some I don't go a bear fur right there. Dog, I'll go under. Uh, dog, I'll blow. I'll Come get on. under the ear and the thing. That's too much. This is like a I'll Canadian goose right here, Fatty. Uh, that's Ooh, not bad. That's, that's not bad. I don't want to go body. Whoa, it flitched. 
get it. You got to get the the heart of it, the meat. This is the gushy, fun no, nougat. No, that's what the nipples are. That's a me too, and it's got pecs well, or tits or a pussy. It's a male. I'll I'll cover the the lipstick if you want to. Ooh, that's oh, nice. That's come nice. on. I think you should shave it, and make a wig, and wear it to uh, the bad. festival. That's not. Oh boy, you you woke the dragon there, sloppy. Fucking jalopy. hey, come Man. on with this. <laughs> Look at the top. It looks like Dukakis with that hair. <laughs> I know. What's up with that English prime minister guy? It looks like Jeff Daniels in Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> He's really that bad. Floppy, blonde, strandy hair. He's really bad. Tony Blair, I think, is his name. Our pets' heads are falling off. Yeah, Tony Blair. That guy is a kook. Hi. Uh, no, what's his name? Seriously, though? Tony Blair's the old guy with oh, Bush. Oh, yeah. Is it it's this not guy Stephanopoulos? Is, no, that's, uh, he's on ABC News. This is oh, no, Dino no. or um, Dino Stephanopoulos. Dingleberry. No, that's, that's John Stamos' brother. What's, what's his that name? Guy's 10 name? Downing Street, uh, <laughs> London. Downton Abbey. No, uh, the place to be. Yeah, what is that? What the guy? fuck is his the name? Clash? Himmler. Oh, this Merkel. Helen Merkel. Aha! Uh-huh. I'm wearing a Merkin. And there's Roland Garros. Uh, Rafael shit. Nadal. Uh, the Big Ben. No, what the fuck's uh, his name? I've been there. Oh, it's not that impressive. Okay, you've Water. been there. Yeah, big, big, big time. Big, uh, big Ben there. What the fuck's his name? Oh, wait, Boris. Boris Carlo. Boris Johnson. Boris Johnson. There it is. That sounds made up. Yeah, doesn't it sound more German? The Boris. Boris. The Johnson. Well, that's a English. Russian name, I believe. Ah, I'm Boris. Honest, I'm not gay. Yeah, Boris and Natasha. But yeah, Boris Johnson. Get a brush. Get a comb. Who, who elected this guy? I think the people of England. I guess so. Or Great Britain, maybe. Do they all vote? Yeah. I think so. I think he's is he the prime minister of Britain or just England. I think they're the same thing. Well, England's in British. Britain is There's Northern London. Ireland. What? England, Wales, and Scotland. That's the Bob United Marley. Kingdom slash Britain. Is that right? Then England is just England. Uh, wait a, a minute. Wait, I think England and Great Britain are the same thing. Well, no. England is part of Great Britain. Great Britain includes England, Northern Ireland, Wales, and Scotland. Whoa, you sure That's about that? That's Great Britain. Yeah. So if you're if you're from well Wales, you're, you're Welsh you're... and you're British, but you're not English. What? It's very confusing. So it's like saying if you're Canadian, you're from North America, but you're not American. Yeah, you wouldn't say I'm American. You'd say I'm Canadian, but you are technically American. So are the people from South America. Yes, yes. Like Peruvians are American. Gross. But no one says that. No, not on my watch. But like Andy Murray, the tennis player, is from Scotland, but they're like, he's British. Whoa. Yeah, that's what British means. I never knew that in my all my years. English is it because you see British, you have that flag, the Union Jack, the red and the blue a with good the thing. Flag. That's the British flag, but the England flag is just the white with the red <laughs> T. Oh, the cross. The cross, the red cross. That's the England flag. You sure? I thought that was Switzerland. Now Switzerland has something similar. They have a they have the red flag with the white cross. Whoa, jeez, you're blowing my nips off here. Oh, maybe it's a red dot. No, that's Japan. That's Japan or a period stain. And a Pearl Jam song in the forehead of an Indian. Aha, spotting. But yeah. (laughs) It's it's all confusing. (laughs) Yeah. Well, wait a minute now. I didn't. I, what, do, what do we mean, Northern Ireland? So, what about Southern Ireland? Is it like Korea where they're split? Ireland is its own thing. Ireland is just Ireland. Well, and then you said Northern it was part Ireland. Of Britain. No, Northern Ireland is its own country. What? Yes, and Northern Ireland is its own country and part of Britain. That's what that all that the troubles were all about. Uh, well, yes. that was Protestants and Catholics, but then there's Northern Ireland and Ireland. It's that, all confusing. Is that the is that Brexit or is that Irish exit? Brexit is all Britain, including Scotland, all leaving the European Union. But then Scotland sometimes votes to be annexed from Britain to be its own thing. Holy hell, you're blowing my cock. And, and Scotland's its own country, but it's also part of the United Kingdom. Ay, 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 this is too <laughs> I mean, much. What am I, an immigrant? i got to take a test now. It's wackadoodle-doo, and there's probably one small detail I'm fucking up, and, and 48 people are going to call me a piece of shit, but well, I think I'm dead on on this stuff. The London Bridge is falling down, but a couple things. I have no no news on Southern Ireland, by the way. Or is there Mid-Ireland or a Pacific West? It's something. Just, it's just Ireland. The Emerald Isle is the whole thing. Now it's an emerald? It's, an emerald. it's a sparkly green... Island jewel, 
But so there's Ireland and Northern Ireland. But then this is one of the things that's tricky about it is them leaving the EU. Now there'll be a border between there's a border between Ireland and Northern Ireland, but you can just drive. It's like Canada and the U.S. Uh -huh. But with Britain leaving the EU, now there'll be armed guards in there going, hey, you're leaving the EU. You're coming into Northern Ireland now. So now oh. they think that might flare up some... Herpes. Some, yeah, some herpes outbreaks. Interesting, interesting. I got a couple things here that I'm interested in talking with you well, about. Well, this is fascinating. I'm getting a, quite a geography test here. But uh, Scotland doesn't get it to do, by the way. Invented golf. Yes. Scotch. And uh, pool? No, no. The, Jerking uh, it? Tubing? What's this Louis? thing with the broom? Uh, it's curling. Curling. That's theirs, ah, too. The Canadians really ripped that puppy to shreds. I think it's Scottish. I think it's Scottish. And then the Canadians really made it their own. And Sean Connery. All right. I've been to Scotland once. Glasgow. Oh. Boy, there's some tough tough crackers out there i'm talking big hairy legged whitey mm -hmm. i went to uh, edinburgh which was fun ah. and then every time i fly there there's a town called campbell town and you know i'm a campbell as is michael che fun uh, fact and the soup and uh i think about going there and bringing my aunt my uncles Ooh. and be like come on boys let's go out to campbell town and we'll yell freedom and kissing the lips yeah, or whatever the motherland and uh, you can paint half your face blue and not white yeah and show everyone my dick there you go i hate the jews but Northern Ireland, I'd like to go. That's where they shoot uh, Lord of Games or whatever that fucking Rings. bullshit is. No, the other one. Thrones. Game of Thrones. Yes. And there's Belfast, which I heard uh -huh. is nice. Ah. Uh, is that... That's not where... Uh, wait a minute. Are there two Belfast? No. Belfast is, I think, the capital of Northern Ireland. That's like the big city oh, Northern in Northern Ireland. Ireland. Oh, yeah. okay. I thought we were on Scotland still, because I, I know they call Van Morrison the Belfast cowboy. Yes. See, he's Irish, but this is interesting about Northern Ireland, Ireland. If you're from Northern Ireland, you're Irish. Okay. He's Irish. Sure. But he's from Northern Ireland. We don't say, I'm Northern Irish. You just say, I'm Irish. But he's from the Northern Ireland. I've heard nothing about the South. It's no South. It's just Ireland. That's Ireland. Dublin and Cork and uh, Kilkenny. That's just Ireland. So you don't say South Ireland. You just say Ireland you keep saying and Northern North. Ireland. Okay. Okay. That's the countries. I'm so... I'm flabbergasted. It's kind of like... Uh, there's no America. There's South America and North... Wait, that's not a good that's example. That's not good. It's a big, a big America. We're apparently a superpower. Well, you hear of Northern Virginia, but you never hear Southern Virginia. You just hear Virginia. Oh. Uh, I got it. Uh, that's not separate bad. Things. That's not bad. Yeah, South Florida. You don't really hear central, about North Florida. You hear Central Florida, and then you hear the Panhandle. Ah, they say Panhandle, yes, Central Florida, yes, South Florida. Yes. All right. I've seen a few Panhandlers out here. <laughs> oh, there's a plethora. It's getting creepy out there. And every time I had this, this annoyed me last night. I was talking to a comic last night. I was like, I'm taking an Uber, and he's like, Why don't you go get a yellow cab? And I'm like, First of all, there's no cabs, and I don't like waiting because there's, there's not a lot of cabs. And I'm like, it's scary out there. And he's like, oh, you pussy. Right. Shut up, you pussy. Then proceeds to tell me a story about a guy getting chased with a pipe. Ah, nice. And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. I told you, it's crazy. But anyways, and he's like, I'm going to get wait for this Uber. It's taking 10 minutes. He's like, don't wait for an Uber. Just go get a cat. Take the subway. And I go, ah, I don't want to. And he tells me another story. He's like, by the way, did you hear about Billy? He got shot in the face. He tells like three <laughs> stories. I'm like, you're making my point. Yeah, yeah. Well, you could say who that was. Ah, it doesn't matter. All right. Some people like a pipe. Smoke a pipe. Crack pipe, lead pipe, peace pipe. Does he say we smoke them peace pipe? What does he say there? Who's that? Oh, Seinfeld? Yeah, the uh, the cigar store Indian. I think it's we smoke them. That's what we I We smoke them peace pipe. That's why I put the captions on. It doesn't make... those That word doesn't make I, sense I to me. I think that's a, an old saying. It's a reference to like a Western movie. We smoke them peace pipe. It's like a, he's talking like a dumb Native American, I think. Oh, I see. It's a little dicey these days. I got you. Yeah, that whole episode was ahead of its time. Chakta. Let me ask you this, because this, Please. I think, is... Uh, oh, did we get those ads? Oh, good point. Just curious. This is going to be a little clunky. We're going to have to plug it in later. We'll plug. We'll plug. This is a plug. weird episode. We're doing... It's a weird thing we're doing, because we got to get out in front of these vacations. It's vacation time. I'm going to Martha's Vineyard. I know. I'm going to Nantucket. Woo! We're going to be neighbors. Ooh, wow, so crazy. We're going to the two uh, waspy paradises. Islands. Thank you. Um, hmm. Mm, All right. Well, I got yet. nothing. All right. I should have texted earlier. We really fucked well, up. Well, at least you texted. I did uh, zilch. So you guys got off easy. You're not getting any ads. Well, we'll, we'll plug them in to yeah, the cat's Yeah, we'll put them asshole. here. Oh, here they are. Ah. Uh -huh. 
Oh, boy, those are some fun ads. Way to go, Shelbo. All right, let me ask you this. Please. Oh, my God. This has been quite an episode. Yeah, yeah, a lot of, a lot of fine-tuning. Wow, you like that, cat? I don't like that, cat. Ouch. Uh, no, I love it. You're very nice. I feel bad. I'm trying to be a real <laughs> namaste. I can't believe you're not getting in on this cat gut. I didn't. It got up and jumped and yeah, ran. Yeah, that's true. It didn't I've, like I've you. I've had two real frights. You're puss repellent. I'm a scary cat. Uh, uh, sorry, I stepped on your thing there. That yeah, was nothing. Um, all right, so yesterday I'm walking around a story. Yesterday. I'm uh, most recorded pop song in history. <laughs> Is that, what do you mean recorded? Like re recorded. Uh, artist, yeah. Ripped off. Well, covered. Covered. Uh, rip off as if you were being like, tomorrow, right. all my troubles seem my father's gay. <laughs> hey, that would be a rip off. Well, we got a new theme. <laughs> You're out, surfs up, or whatever. Um, <laughs> Duck fell out of his anal. I, I can feel a booger in my right nostril. Ah, it's just in there. It's moving a little bit. Hey, wipe it on the cat. <laughs> it's exciting. Ah, uh, don't go in oh, there. Don't go in there. Oh, it's a hanger. My God. No, it's, in, it's up here. It's like in my, oh, my retina. I think it's making its way down. It's it's long. Oh, it didn't oh, come out. Oh, don't flick it on the couch. It didn't come. Nothing came. Oh, okay. I, got, I came up empty. I'm just wiping the, uh, it's like my ex. the saliva off. All right, saliva. All right, so... Uh, I'm, by the way, I'm sweating like my mother's <laughs> asshole in the saliva. summertime. Well, it's... Uh, the, the, the breeze isn't cooking. We, no need, breeze. we need the cross breeze. Um, so I'm walking in a story. I'm listening to my nice uh, podcast going, oh, I'm one with everything. My life is gay. What is it, Eckhart Tolle? No, this was, uh, it was a Sam Harris with Adya Shante. He's one of these guys that changes his name to something weird, but his real name, I'm sure, is like Bill Stevens. Ah, uh, like Muhammad Ali and Cat Stevens. <laughs> exactly. And uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Oh, yes. Yeah. Lou El Cinder. Yeah, three great names ruined. Yeah, good point. Cat Stevens. Cooler. What's a cooler name than that? Cassius Clay. But Cat Stevens wasn't a real name either, was it? I assume cat. Oh, who changed the name twice? What kind of psycho oh. prima donna pretentious coos goes double changeo? There's no way his given name is Cat. Nobody's wow. like, look at him. His name's Cat. I think he grew up in a cult. His dad's a pedo. I don't know. Something's up. He's great. He was one of the earliest things of like I was like 20, and I was with the older gentleman comic who was raping me, and he said. <laughs> Like Cat Stevens, like you can't listen to Cat Stevens. He he denounced America. He hates America. Oh yeah, and it was the earliest was. instance of me being like, I don't care. Yeah, it's right. a great song. I'm listening great, to the song. Great father and son is a killer. I'm like I'm not gonna listen to the song because he hates America. What do I give a shit? Yeah, the the tune is good. But I'm like I don't know. There's a lot of potholes. There's assholes. A lot of holes. Country stinks. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, nah, I mean, I like it. I live here, but there's plenty. If someone hates America, I'm not like you, piece of shit. I'm like, I can see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. I mean, what do I care? The music. It's like when they go, oh, "This uh, quarterback beat his dad." I go, "Well, he made the touchdown." Yeah, I'm watching the game. What do I give a shit? <laughs> it counts. He went over the line. I don't care about his mom. I mean, he's got a lot of hits and whatever. Whatever his thing is, I don't care. Sure. But anyways. I'm never getting to this story. Sorry. So I'm listening to uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and uh, Betty White talk, mm. and I see a guy come up with a pamphlet. So right away, I'm like, ah, I'm not interested. Yeah. And he goes, yoga. It's yoga. Like Jeez. that. Jeez. And I go, ah, I'm good. And he goes, you know, I'm trying to save a small business. They've been out of business for 15 months, and we're trying to save this business. Just take a flyer. Good God. And he's yoga. He needs a little yoga, a hey, little downward anal there. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, are you going out of business because of the pandemic, or are you going out of business because you're a fucking psychopath who's the complete reverse of yoga? Attitude adjustment. Go there and do a spinning queef and an upward cycle. I'm like, does the yoga people know that you're shouting at people? And he's, he's <laughs> mad at me. And by the way, it's like 9 in the morning. It's too ah, early to be mad. This guy's got to listen to a little... Uh, uh, Tig Knock 2. Tig Knock Han. Thank you. Greg Han. <laughs> That's that, Greg Han. Oh, is that what he does? Yeah, you ever see Greg Han? Never seen him once. Put it on the top of your list. Go see oh, Greg really? Han. Uh, get a, buy a plane ticket to go see Greg Han. I mean, I'm not really that blown away by the snapping, <laughs> if I could be completely honest. It's not a great sell for a comedian. The snapping is fun. You got you to gotta see it. All right, all whole right. thing. I got to go watch a crooner if I want to see a snap. <laughs> he does a bit in the middle of his act. He goes, you guys have been great. Thank you. I'm not even close to done. Come on, everybody. He's fun. Okay, he seems fun. I'm not doing the bits, but there's bits, and he, he's hilarious, and it's just pure joy, and he's the funniest guy. All right, well, you know who's snapping is that yoga cunt. 
What's that? A skateboard? Skateboard. Uh, I know that noise anywhere, right, cat? But anyways, the guy, the yoga guy, was very upset, and uh, I don't know. I just thought it was funny. I thought we'd get more out of this, but I guess no, not. that's crazy. I, this guy's uh, he needs to readjust his spine and his tude. But I'm like, you can't be yelling and barking for yoga. No, no, that's like a, a meditation guy killing his kids. Exactly. Yeah, so that's no good. I had a similar situation. Well, this this city, it brings it out of you. You know, it's like that the the Seinfeld app with the contest where he's like, "Are those my socks? I'm snapping at everybody. What are we doing?" You know, you start losing it. I'm yelling at strangers. Yes. So uh, I was in Union Square Subway underground. I'm just, do, you know, it's a big subway. You can walk around. There's a lot of a lot of square footage in that sub. Yes. So I'm up. Uh, I'm up on the top part, not down on the track. Just up on the top part, not in the. Mm-hmm. Sea level, but just, you know, oh, underground yes. still, but not by the track. I see. So my phone rings. It's Tim Dillon. And you know Tim. I put that puppy on the AirPod, and he's going off about, you know, God knows what and school shootings and whatever. And so you got to match it. It's the only way you can have a conversation with the guy. Right. you got to come up to his sea level, and he's going, ah, 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 and so I'm going, ah. And then I look across the subway uh, on the other other wall of it, because I'm by the wall. I'm trying to keep my, my P's and anal. And this guy is crazy, and he's going, ah, 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 and he's yelling at himself. He's yelling at a fake guy, his dad, oh, or the he's government. Like a, he's like a mirror. He's a mirror, and i am got the earbuds in, so I'm yelling at no one as well, even though I'm talking to a fat gay guy. In Austin, Texas, but I'm like, I know, right? Isn't that crazy? And then he's going, rah, rah, rah. and so I could see people clink clinging. They're coming to the turnstiles, going, Jesus, Jesus! <laughs> like, look at these fucking. This city's in the toilet. We got two wackos in the same station, ten feet away from each other. So that was a fun little moment I had, and then I told Tim he didn't care. That's fun, but uh, Tim also called me, which was fun. I think we discussed this a little bit. I think he read from a script, because both conversations <laughs> sounded pretty similar. Right. Great guy, fun guy, hilarious, funny guy. Hilarious, hilarious guy. Yeah. He's uh, doing quite well, and I believe he's got some uh, tickets out for sale, if uh, you read my gay, gay there. Coming up. Yeah. Yeah. So check it out. Yes. Go uh, buy those to go see that show. He's uh, he's probably one of the hottest young uh, Jews in the country. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, show business hot. Oh, Physically, yeah. he's appalling. Yeah, it's not pretty. But uh, I, I I don't want to be a jerkish circus here, but I, I got to question your conversation approach. Uh-oh. I think it's like... The old adage, when you follow a high-energy comic, you don't try oh, to match that energy. you got to bring it down. Interesting. I think you get Tim calling and yelling. you got to go, yeah, that's pretty crazy. Ah, bring him down. Ah, Let him. Good. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. I mean, this guy's been doing comedy for six months. Just because he blew up doesn't mean you have to match him. You can I, bring him to you. I think you got, I think you got a point there. Yeah, because you got to be you. you got to be yourself. And I'm, I'm trying to uh, adapt and be uh, not a chameleon, but uh, I always think the right thing to do is Go with the flow a little, and maybe you're right. Maybe you maybe you have your own flow. Subdue them. Go, that's crazy, Tim. I'm excited that you're doing well. Thanks for calling. Yeah, that's pretty good advice. I like that. Maybe. I don't know, but you're a high-energy guy, too. You're a, you're a, you, your volume scares me sometimes oh, when we're really? talking comedy. Oh, yeah, because you're saying anal and queef and tits, uh, and then there's yeah. a pair of priests and a cop over there. Yeah, I mean, we had that on the sidewalk after leaving the stand. I was trashing some... Uh, <laughs> comedian and uh, you're like she's 10 feet ahead i was like wow she can't hear us what are you crazy we've had that a few times i'm like everyone's (laughs) listening they can all hear yeah by the way steve rogers the 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 huge cock this meaty circumference on this piece quite a piece he's like the he's like low-key the loudest he doesn't know how to whisper he's got one of those deep voices or or loud voices yeah the booming the the projecting it's booming we're like at a sports store Mm. and he's not saying anything crazy but he's like You've been working on that bit about the, uh, uh, the the high heels in your ass, and I'm like, what are you crazy? You can't let anyone know that we're comics. You I nuts. know, I know, especially the sports store. What are you guys shooting a scene? You know, it, it looks like a gag, like like uh, you're doing a sitcom app. Yeah, it's no good. So, uh, Steve, quiet down and shrink that dick. It's scaring everybody. I know, and, and he's so small that dick must look like a fire hydrant in a in a ziploc. <laughs> You know, like it's just up against his trousers, like a goddamn uh, tremor. But also, let me just say this. I had a lady, I was at the stand, I was kind of eating my ass a little up there, because this crowd was a wet blanket. And 
this guy comes, don't you hate when the guy comes back from the bathroom and he's got to say something to his date and he's like, I took a shit in there, whatever he said. And she's like, oh, I know. And it's like full volume and you're like, why'd you have to come back? And then you come back in and ruin the show. Mm -hmm. So I hate that you came back. And then she, I do my thing where I'm doing my act at them. I'm not going, hey, shut up, you, you fat coos. I'm going, so then the other day I got in an Uber and she's like, He's looking at us. He's looking at shut up, shut up. <laughs> and then I, I go, okay, they, they caught my drift. So I move it along and go back to my, and then they go back to talking. Right. And eventually I uh, had to say something and it got pretty ugly. Yes, yeah, so the thing is like they haven't learned a lesson to not do. They just don't want to get caught. Exactly. So they're still stealing. They're just, you know, doing it. I don't know. That fell I, apart. I hear but, yeah. yeah. I, I float your boat there, Johnson. But uh, yeah, so I... Well, what's your go-to line? Because that line about, uh, hey, where'd you learn to whisper a helicopter is really a good line. I mean, it's just, it's been done to death. Obviously, yeah. I don't want to steal that line. But, uh, boy, I always think to say that, and I, I have to stop myself. I don't do any lines. I'm all business. <laughs> I go like this. Uh, you're distracting me. I can ah. hear you talking. It's distracting. It's bumming me out. I know you're having a nice time, but if you could stop, because I, I'm just getting distracted. I kind of put it on myself a little bit. Wow. And then if they talk again, I'm like, hey, you got to shut up. I mean, you fucking suck. Your mother's uh, fat or whatever. Don't you feel like that takes the, the oxygen right out of the room? Now there's tension. I, I got to have a, a giggle after it. Sometimes. But the thing is, if you get the line, sometimes they feel this weird thing. Thing, and then they want to keep it going. Uh, then they get the thing of like, I was helping. You got that yeah, laugh. They feel like they're that. part of it. There's so a lot of that. I'd rather just go, ah, you, you're too loud. I can, I can hear you talking. It sucks. Everyone oh. shut up, you, you fucking douche. Okay, okay. Well, my my go-to now, which I probably shouldn't give away, is, uh, oh, the cat's acting weird. You all right? Right? There? It's acting very weird. Jeez. I think it hates the podcast. Yeah, well, it's not the first. But uh, don't even check out Ron on. But uh, so I, I go, uh, where'd you learn to speak? Qu-? I just totally refangled the bit. Sure. Go, where'd you learn how to speak quietly? An orgy? And it killed, believe it or not. It's not the best line, but it came out of my ass. But I had to re... I took the formula and just ship shaped sure. some of the, 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 the logic there. It's like a roast. Ah. A roast jokes. You just take the formula, you take this out, you plug that in, you stick this in, and then there you go. Roast By the way, the roast haven't come back yet. What do you mean? There's no roast battle. Like we had pandemic. Since like roast battles not happening, mm. roast whatever. Roast battle baker. But the the roast battle's big in LA. They do it every week. Ross is there. Moses oh, is wow. there. It's at the store. It's in the main room again or whatever. It's, uh, it's okay. It's back, but I don't want it here. Let's keep it out of here. Right. We don't wanna, need the roast. You know what I want to do? We, we gotta wrap it up. I know you gotta go to Royer's first. I wanna do uh, an old school roast. I know content is everything now. Content this, content that. Phones in the bag, no cameras, no recording equipment. Roast. Ooh. Like we have a roast in the VU. The audience members can come, 300 people, whatever it is, 200 people. But just an old school roast. Like we did the Nate and Giannis roast back yes. in the day, the two best roasts ever. Yes. Nobody had phones, no nothing. And I know it'll be painful to go, oh, wow, well, we could have made this much the money content. and such much money. Yeah, yeah. But to just have. Some real buds, and I want the, the N word flying and yes, the C word yes. flying, and just a real. We're keeping a secret. Ooh, this is a roast. I no one's it. watching this. I we're gonna have it. a fun night, and uh, if you didn't get tickets, too bad. So sad. Snooze, you lose. Yeah, well, I thought I was gonna rhyme with sad. Ah, uh, yeah, you, you got had. Yes, you've been had, and uh, I'm glad. And you know, it's good to have fad. you in the pad. No, sorry. <laughs> Bad tie, but uh, yeah, that's a great idea. I'm down, and let, let's get down and dirty like the roast used to be when no one had a goddamn camera on their telephone. Could be so. Or maybe you do a Patreon, a pay to play, or so. I don't know. Maybe people would want to. Are, you, are we robbing the people of something? We, and it's nice to make money, I guess. It is, and you, but you just got to be in control of it. If they're filming and then they put out a two second clip of you saying, uh, you know, after this and screw the that. Mm -hmm. Then you're screwed. But if you got your own editing and your people behind it, that could really be something hot. Yeah, Chuck. Chuck Wait, sometimes when you talk, the thing doesn't blink. Other times oh, it does. Oh, God, you no, scared it's blinking me. Now. Jesus. All right, well, let's, uh, where are you going to be there, Sloppy Jalopy? Uh, fuck, I don't know. Uh, hold on. I don't have my calendar. This comes out in a couple weeks. Oh, August 6th and 7th, Fort Worth. <laughs> 
uh, Hyenas. That's in August. And then September. Oh, here's my book. September, it gets a little crazy. I got Philadelphia Helium. Oh, another wrong with that, Fatty. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see. I'm, gonna, I'm getting out the book. I got a big book. In the meantime, check out Joe and Rana. We got Louie on talking P.T. Anderson. And, hey, um, PTA. That's meeting. something. Fort Worth, August 6th and 7th. Philly Helium, September 23rd, 24th, 25th. Then Comedy Castle out in Michigan. Oh, that's I love September that room. 30th through October 2nd. Bananas in uh, wherever that is in New Jersey. Hasbrook Heights. But didn't it move or is it still there? No, it's, it's there again. Still in that All right, that's October. Hotel. October 8th and 9th. And then um, I don't know if this has been announced yet, but Portland Helium, Ooh. November 11th through 13th. And then Chicago Zanies, November 18th Whoa. through 20th. Man, one of my all-time faves. Back-to-back weeks, great clubs. Portland, Chicago, oh. uh, Detroit, Helium, all coming up. Oh, you're rolling, Dick. And then uh, in December, Laugh It Up Poughkeepsie. And uh, check out the other podcasts. And uh, join the Patreon. Tons of hot gay sets. Another one on the on the works, in the works, up my ass. You got that right, yeah. Chuck came out to Poughkeepsie. We got it all on tape. And uh, he's always cooking something up in the lab. I uh, canceled Syracuse. I got another gig, but uh, I'll be in Toledo at the Funny Bone, Houston Improv, Philly Helium, Buffalo Helium, Dayton Funny Bone, Appleton and Skyline, or wait, Skyline and Appleton, Arlington Improv, Brea, California, Albany, West Palm Beach, Comedy Connection in Providence, Madison Comedy Club on State, Zanies in Nashville, and Rochester. Hey. Richmond. Helium in Portland, all kinds of stuff. Laugh Boston around November. So, uh, yeah, hot shows. Me and Sam have a pod. If you want to check that out, Patreon is cooking. Tell a friend. Come see us live. We're going to do a live ep. I think it's Soul Joel's in August. Yeah, I got to so figure that out. We'll oh, figure that one out. That might be tricky. Oh, boy. Maybe it cancel that. Got but some big stuff happening. Ooh, well, things are in motion. The wheels are turning. Uh, I'm gay. We'll see you in hell. Praise Allah. Got it. Got it.